Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who tossed their shoes through the Spirit, and Shalom to the mighty Akim and Akwap out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. Uh, um, Slaki, I just had a pause in my head, but um, basically, today's topic is going to be talking about current events. Um, it's going to be entitled Current Events, um, Venom Regulation, and yeah, and how uh, people are losing their jobs, okay? So, um, first, the first article on Global News, uh, it says some businesses publicly defying BC's jab passport program, okay? So, they're act. They're saying that they don't, they don't care, if they don't care about that whole passport thing. Because um, oh well, let's read in, read a bit and then I will explain it. So less than a week into the launch of BC's jab passport program, several BC businesses are already publicly defying the order. Raleigh's restaurant in Raleigh's restaurant in Hope. Say says it won't be checking customers for proof of immunization, which is currently required to access an array of non-essential indoor services in the province. The restaurant's owner declined an off on like an on-camera interview, but told Global News they believe the passport forces them to discriminate against customers. Okay. Uh, they would rather let diners decide for themselves if they feel comfortable inside the restaurant, the owner, sa- the owner said. This isn't discrimination against clients. Public Safety Minister Mike Barnworth said when asked about the restaurant. This is recognizing the bulk of the people in this province are jabbed and the way we're going to defeat this uh, venom is by everyone getting jabbed. Okay, so um, basically, uh, I actually had a talk with someone I knew on this topic. Um, they were they were saying basically that um, the, the in general the whole um, outside of the whole um, actual pandemic, Slaki, like, yeah, outside of the actual. Um, I, I'm trying to be picky with my words. Outside of the actual cause, the effect is uh is a lot more harmful to businesses. Ironically, when yeah, I guess ironically, um, basically the um smaller businesses or other businesses, they are basically say, being told. You are not allowed to accept customers as much as you were before because they need to fall in line or whatever. All right. So now with this, they're they're trying to make um, people who own smaller businesses or who own their who are trying to be more dependent and not like and those big super um, super um, chains of restaurants and. Or just business businesses in general. People who are trying to have their own businesses. They're basically being screwed over because they're have they have they're having to discriminate and choose Slovakia pick and choose. Oh, who they are they are allowed to serve. Who they're allowed to accept money from. Okay, instead of just oh, uh, anyone can come in, and that. That is bad. That's basically bad for business, business for them. Okay. So, you, you clearly you see what they're trying to um, get. They're trying to make them do, and it, it's it's pretty crazy. Okay. So these smaller businesses, BC's businesses, are indeed losing money. Okay. So next. Uh, another one, um, Biden administration strongly opposes 
honorable discharge for service members who refuse the jab. Okay? So he said he strongly opposes honorable discharge. Okay? This is the key word. Okay? And I have some other ones. Basically the same thing. Well, not basically the same thing. They're basically saying everything else. Uh, Biden says troops should be dishonorably discharged if they dis disobey the order to get jabbed. Biden orders dishonor dishonorable discharge for 46% of troops who refuse jab. Okay, so we see this is on and this is on uh, Yahoo News, SandraRose.com, and Daily Mail. Dot UK, whatever. Um, yeah, so clearly we see we see that um, Sakia, he he is very strong. He, just like how he is always talking a mad amount of crap to Jake for choosing not to get jabbed, he's doing the same with all, with that's almost 50, half the military. Okay, 46%, that's almost half of troops just got kicked out saying, oh, F you for not falling in line, basically. That's literally, like, how, like, there's no other explanation to that. Like, that's, B basically said, you didn't want to get jabbed? Get the hell out of here, F you, and all that stuff. This, that's how the dishonorable discharge is, not, and, in here, it's saying he doesn't want honorable, okay? So, they could have been there for a year, 10 years, whatever, if they just refuse, just simply because they refuse to take, to get jabbed, then they are screwing them over, okay? Um, some arguments. We, we asked basically it on that. But, um, Going back to this and how I was talking about the um, businesses, right? So they're saying basically um, the small business owner, owners, they are losing out on money. And like I said before, they um, the government wants the people to rely more, rely on them for everything. All right. So now. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore thou shalt, Slakia, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy, which is the Lord shall, which, Slakia, let me start over. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy, which the Most High shall send against thee in, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Okay, so he's trying to remove the the, the independency from people and their small businesses, and have a more uh, dependent focus on basically the government. So any anything or any place that the government can control, they ha they're going they're naturally going to have more power. Okay, because uh, primarily, I believe it was um well as you can see to this and other ones, uh, the government jobs are the ones that are losing. The government job, the government employees are the ones that are losing their jobs. Because also, um, so there has been some police officers losing their jobs because there was this one police officer who was who has been working as a police officer for 19 years and he just got laid off just because he didn't want to take it, okay? And, I mean, that just goes to show, that goes to show who is, you know, more so pushing it. Because this, the biz, the um, smaller businesses, they clearly are more, we can see that they are more so lenient, lenient with it. Even though there are some, uh, there are some regulations like a regulation that said if you have more than a hundred um, employees, you have to. They all have to be um, jabbed. All right. So there are some things, but it's more so the government-run businesses or the government-run 
um, places that are more into pushing out getting jabs to continue to work, okay? And again, it uh, as time goes on, if you, if you don't have a job and whatnot, then you're going to be hungry, thirsty, and stuff like that. You're not going to have a uh, roof over your head and all this and 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 all the such, okay? You're so you're going to have to go to them and get jabbed in order to be a part of the society. And in addition to that, this is a perfect uh transition into the MOTB, which is also going to lead into well basically this is basically the rehearsal to the M- MOTB, okay? The RFID microchip, which I hope I can say that's lucky. Yeah. Um basically right now it's the jab, okay? But and if people, and as time goes on and if everyone is actually getting jabbed, then they're gonna say, Okay, well I guess it's not that bad. I guess we were just um going crazy for nothing. But then down the line when things get crazier, then they're going to implement something else, the MOTV, and then they're gonna be like, Oh no, 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 I was never gonna do that. And because a lot of I saw a video um um a, a brother um posted a, a GMS brother posted. They said uh, it was basically talking about how if you ask most people today, just not even Jake's, but everyone in general, if you're gonna take the MOTB, then they would say no, they wouldn't. But if you look at the time that they're gonna be in at that time, like if there's absolutely no way for them to get food, water, or, sh- or anything, if there's no way for them to actually have a roof over their head or have the supplies that they need then and that time then that's when there are most people are going to fold okay and most people are going to just take the MOTB because they they're going to they're going to be very carnal they're going to want said food water and whatnot all right so that's that's the thing okay and we look at that through and in here revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Okay, so if they are restricted from buying and selling, which we're, we're, we're allowed to buy and sell now, even if we don't have the jab, but this is basically... The rehearsal, meaning that when the time comes, it's going to be even more extreme. It's going to be even worse. All right. So when they they have, especially for someone who has a family to think about. Okay. If their kids are starving and whatnot, they don't have anything to provide for them. Like they're going to have to go out there or they're going to want to go out and take that MLTB just so they can feed their families. Okay. That, that's, that's. That's the desperation that they're, the, the desperation and desperate times that they're gonna be in, okay? But you can't fold like that, not not for your kids, not for yourself, or anything like that, all right? Okay, and Proverbs chapter twenty nine, verse two: When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Exactly. When, that's why, most of all, we need Yahweh Shai in rulership. We need. The Israelites in rulership. We need to, we need Yahweh by Shimei Shai to remove Esau from, um, from from his place of, of rulership. Okay, because we're sick and tired, and we're we're just we're just over this whole oppression and just wickedness. All right, it, it is a very horrible time. I'm right now. Okay. So, you know, with that, uh, all this lesson was edifying. You know, don't fold under pressure. Don't fold because, uh, um, you know, you're starving or, or whatnot. Have faith and trust in the Most High that He's going to provide for you. All right? Let me get another, that other preset.
Okay, come on. Okay, so Luke chapter 12, verse 22. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and Yahweh feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? Okay, so if you are, if you are, um, if you're not jabbed, if you don't have the MLTB during that time, then you know you have to have faith and believe that the Most High is going to is going to provide for you, and you're going to be taken care of. Okay, it's not. It's not about oh, um, yo, I'm I'm so hungry. I need I just need to go and fold and take that so I can go buy and sell and whatnot. Okay, I I need that food. No, it's the most high. I have faith that even though things looking bad right now, the most high got me. That's that's what you. That's the type of mindset you have to have. That's what you have to believe in. To believe in the most the, that the most high will look after. you. All right, and with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, the honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, and trust this truth through the Spirit. And with that, I want to say Shalom.